Hi guys. Today in this video blog we learn how we can use NS Timer in order to see. NS Timer is used to when we want to call any method after some time of interval or in a regular time of interval. So to to fulfill that purpose we need a NS Timer. So let me show you. This is a class NS Timer. <coughs> And you can see there's a method and it's schedule time interval. Here this is one, two, three, four, five. So you have to five parameters you have to pass in this method of NS timer. In first parameter we have to be give the time after which this timer should start. So let's suppose if I give three point zero, so it means after three point when the control come to this function execute this video load after that after three seconds this will call this timer will start and here I have to give the target target means in which class of method you have to call so I have to call the same class method so I am going to give self <coughs> here I have to give select the method name which I have to call and then I am going to pass test timer user info you want to pass any user information or any object to the timer to that method you can pass through this and for now I will just pass it a nil and repeat if you want to repeat this timer after three seconds then you can give yes if you don't want to repeat that or you want to just want to run this timer only once then you have to give a no so just to show purpose I will give us yes it means this timer will run automatically after after every three seconds. Let me show you as long. <coughs> so I'm running this project, running this class will succeed, and you can see the same motor running. And you can see time started. So after three se every three seconds, it will going to call this method test timer. So in this way, if we start NS timer, since I gave it to repeat it's yes, it means it will call this method in every three seconds. Okay, and.